Flexibility and balance are important exercises, according to expert Carlos Fernandez. Listen and watch as he explains why, and he even shows us an easy stretching routine. You're gonna love it. Take a look. I would say if you can, absolutely, foam roll first, do a dynamic warm up if possible, workout or whatever type of uh, workout you're gonna be doing, and then stretch at the final and last thing, okay? If you can't do all of those things, you can't have, if you don't have time, stretching as an exercise is, is definitely a good way to keep your mobility, keep your flexibility, and add it into your life for sure. So you, if you're gonna work out, stretch after. So reasons why, right? Real quick, if you're, if you're working out, let's say a bicep curl, right? You're shortening the muscle, then lengthening, shortening, then lengthening. Really, you're working more concentrically than eccentrically, right? And you wanna put those muscles back into the positions that they're gonna be uh, best at, right? So you wanna lengthen that muscle, you wanna stretch it and get it back into that resting position. So actually, when it's repairing, it can repair at all the levels, right? Not just the concentric part of the, of the motions. Now, here's a great exercise that increases flexibility, balance, and strength yoga. Take a look at this video from the NIH, the National Institutes on Aging, I should say. They have more on this. Take a look. I started doing yoga a little more than two years ago when I found that my previous form of exercise was not as readily available to me. I started at a studio that provides hot yoga and thought I was going to die at the first session. And then after I got accustomed to it, realized that this is a wonderful form of exercise. It allows me to get flexibility, balance, muscle strengthening, uh, meditation. Uh, it has an aerobic component to it if you're doing a flow rapidly. It's everything. <laughs> Typically at home, I start off with downward facing dog, which allows me to stretch all of the muscles, um, get my body centered. Uh, then I go into sun salutations that again allows stretching. You begin to move the body a little more rapidly. Then I do um, a spinal twist that again gets things flowing and then on to back bends. Eagle, triangle. So just about every muscle group gets used. I think that yoga has a number of health benefits and we have research at NIH and NIA that supports the fact that there's benefit to uh, increasing one's flexibility, increasing one's balance. Uh, that's very important in terms of helping to prevent the uh, risk of falls as one gets older. There is benefit in terms of strengthening muscles, also important in falls protection. I think it's one of the best forms of exercise that's available. Some of the conveniences of doing exercise, and in particular yoga at home, are that you can do it regardless of the time of the year and the outside uh, temperature, whether it's too hot or too cold. You can do it with videotapes or to music or there are even television instruction uh, classes on yoga. You can do it with a group or you can do it all by yourself. Uh, it's, it's portable. Uh, and when I travel, I do yoga. I would say that yoga is a form of exercise that one can likely do to the end of one's days. Uh, it's low impact and yet has multiple benefits. So I think that's something I would want people to think about. Uh, you need to exercise. This is something that you can continue doing regardless of your age. What an inspiration. Love her. All right, so Carlos is now, as promised, is going to show us uh, some stretching routines. Uh, jacket is off. So if you're at home watching right now, stand up and why not join us? Get up off the couch, even if you're in your PJs, grab the cup of coffee, put it down. So Carlos, what are we going to do first? All right, so typically, the way I like to start stretching, I think about it from the top down, right? And it's just a way to progress it, right? So I like to start with the neck. We hold a lot of tension in the shoulders and the neck area, so we're gonna do two exercises for the neck. We're gonna do some neck rolls, okay? So you're gonna kinda just let your neck hang and just roll around, right? Roll around. You wanna go counterclockwise here. You're gonna do about three reps to five 
do something that feel good, feels good and then reverse it, right? You want to work all the muscles in the neck and the shoulder area. And right? take it slow, right? Take That's Take it important. slow, definitely. Breathing, mind your breathing, and then don't jump into it, right? It's something that should relax you and something that should help you feel a little bit more loose, right? Second neck exercise, we're going to do yeses and nos, right? So literally, you're going to say no. No to that morning donut, okay? No morning donuts <laughs> today, right? Nice and easy, big, big stretch, and then we're going to go into yeses again. Every stretch you're gonna do for about three to five. What are we reps. saying yes to? Yes to coffee. There we go. Something that's that gonna cafecito wake us up. cubano. <laughs> Start your day <laughs> off right, right? <laughs> now we're gonna work our way to our shoulders. We're gonna do a little shoulder roll, right? Up and out. Yeah, release some of that tension and now reverse it. Same thing, three to five times. Hold it nice and tight and relax, right? Here we're gonna go work our way to our upper back and our chest. And then we're going to do something that's self-love. Open up real big and then hug yourself. Yeah. Real big. Switching the arms at the top. Nice big hug. Op opens up the chest and opens up the upper back as well. Then we're going to work our way down to our hips and our lower back, right? You're going to want to reach over for this. You're going to put your left hand on your left hip. Push it out a little bit to the right. Do what you could do. Don't overexert yourself, especially if you have pains. And then you're going to reach over to make it a little bit more intense, OK? If the reaching over hurts, just mind the arm, put it down, and just push the hip. And how long should we do, hold that, Carlos? And we only do, have about 45 seconds left, but how long do we hold that? Yeah, every, every stretching exercise, you want to hold for about 5 to 20 seconds, right? And you're going to want to hold it or whatever feels right for Show you. Show us one more because before we go. Yeah, and then just reaching or bending down is going to work that lower spine, right? So you're going to put this yourself in this position to stretch out all the muscles in your lower back and your upper back. Let yourself hang there and then work your way back Fantastic. up. Fantastic. Nice and and now for the pros out there, let's just do a little bit of salsa once again for our show. Go ahead, Carlos. Ready? Dun, 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 oh, we need a little dun, merengue dun, here. Dun, 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 <laughs> You see? And he teaches dancing. Dun, 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 dun. And dancing is so good for you as well, right, Carlos? Oh my yes, gosh. Absolutely. Who wouldn't want to be his partner? <laughs>